Well, this month's memory verse comes from Isaiah 9, 6. And it is a verse that is perfect for us to remember who it is and uh, why we celebrate him in this Christmas Advent season. This verse is all about who Jesus is, the promise of who he is, and what he came to do for us. So again, Isaiah 9, 6. I'm going to unpack this one verse at a time. For to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. Now, I'm making a gavel with my hands because a gavel in our world represents the rule of a judge. And a judge, what the, when he or, or she uh, hits that gavel, the decision is final. But this verse is reminding us that our earthly forms of government and ruling are on, they are below the rule and reign of Jesus. His, his rule and reign has supreme authority. The government is on his shoulders. This is why it's important for us to pray for our rulers or, and our leaders here on earth because Jesus is above them and can influence their decisions. Okay, the next part. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. How many of you have ever seen someone, when they say, oh, that's wonderful, they take it to their heart, right? Maybe you've heard or seen grown-ups go, oh, when something sweet happens. Well, that's why we're doing this motion. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Now, Counselor is another name for the Holy Spirit. And the next three parts of this verse represent that Jesus on earth represented the fullness of God and the Trinity was fully represented in him. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, an everlasting father, and prince, we're making a crown, of peace. Isaiah 9, 6. Let's do that together one more time. Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6.